Hey YouTube, Stephen back here with another DWRT tutorial. And maybe you don't need an access point. Maybe you don't need a repeater. Maybe you just want a client bridge. Maybe you just want to connect your computer to a router and get the internet. You don't want to go out and buy a wireless card. You don't want to go out and buy an adapter. It's fine. You have something laying around. Use it. Why not, right? That's why we have Linux. That's why we have DDWRT. Because it's here to unlock our potential for our routers. So let's go ahead and take advantage of it. Um, well... First off, you're going to go ahead to your wireless basic settings tab, and you're going to change the mode from AP to client bridge. I have an all end environment, but this will vary to people. If you shouldn't know what this is, you mix, NG mix, BG mix, B, G, it just matters. I'm an end environment only. I have no G clients whatsoever, none, through everything array. I have a 40 megahertz channel width on my main router. So I use 40 to unlock the full 300 megabits per second potential my client bridge can use. And go ahead and put that SSD of your main router, not the one you want to put, it's not a repeater, put the main router's SSID right here. After you do that, save it, and we'll head over to the wireless security tab. Here's where you want to make sure this exactly matches your main access point, your main router's security. If not, it's not going to connect. And a lot of people get frustrated because like, what's going wrong? What's going wrong? You didn't put the right security mode or you didn't put the right algorithm. To enjoy the full 802.11 speeds, let me repeat that again, 802.11 N speeds, sorry. Not B, not G, but N. If you want to enjoy the full 802.11 N speeds, you need WPA2 personal with AES. Anything different, this, this, that, anything different will result in your router falling back to 802.11 G standard and maybe you won't even connect to your main router. So you want to make sure that matches. Some people, this is where it gets iffy, if you want to do it, if you don't want to do it. If you want to do it, go ahead and disable your SPI firewall. Uncheck that. All that. Leave multicast enabled. I don't know why. It just, that's what it says. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Here's where it gets a little bit more difficult at the setup, basic setup tab. Let's go ahead and put what probably people will do. Most people have their main router as 192.168.11. Okay, here I have 10.10.21, but this is I'm just going to adjust to show you guys how to do this. Gateway will equal the actual router's IP. So your router is 10.192.168.11. That's where you go to change your settings, right? That's where we can put for the gateway. All traffic will be sent there. Some people leave it 000, but I get more performance, and it seems more reliable if I put the actual IP of the router. If you don't want to do it, if you want to do it, go ahead and just do it. See what works best for you. Then for a local IP address, I put something different than the actual router, because if it's the same, if it's a 1, you're going to have a lot of problems changing to a 2, or a 99, or a 254, anything that floats your boat, it'll work. Just don't put the same as the router. And after that, you are done. You apply your settings, and voila, you have a working client bridge. And that's how it's done. Uh, after that, enjoy your full speeds. If you have any problems, leave a comment, and I'll try to get back to you as best as I can. And, and I'm out. And uh, favorite, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'm done. Till the next one. Bye, guys.